from Santiago Canyon Road is amazing at all like 24 hours a day I can hear that road from my house and I, I just kind of disappointed in uh, the city of Orange is letting them walk all over uh, this area it'll change the character completely if they put in the additional lanes and the traffic signals and you change the alignment to serve all that heavy traffic going to those 4,000 homes uh, until we figure out how to actually solve the traffic problems not just throw money at it in hopes of uh, I don't know what they're in I don't know what they're hoping to do we are the people and we're saying no so there's a debate going on it's between the Irvine company and the people of orange My name is Jack Eit and I am the Director of Planning for Wild Heritage Planners, an organization based in Orange County. My name is Jerry Colomer and I'm part of the Wild Heritage Plan Group. We are dedicated to sustainable solutions to urban environment and environmental issues faced in large and scale urban development projects. WHP first introduced the Smart Growth Compromise Plan for Rancho Mission Viejo that was adopted by the Orange County Board of Supervisors this summer called the win-win solution by the mayor of San Juan Capistrano. With the lands to be annexed in your eastern sphere of influence, the city of Orange has an enormous opportunity to create a fiscally balanced, environmentally responsible community. The Irvine Company proposal, however, is not smart growth. It is low-density, automobile-oriented, 1960s-era suburban sprawl. Well, the idea here is to get people out of their cars. And the idea of building a higher density village in this area, so you have basically people going out to make a trip to the post office, to make a trip to the drugstore, to make a trip to get delivered the kids to the school. The idea in this village type of situation is to cut out those trips and have them either be walking or biking. Instead of going out, we want to go up. Uh, sprawl is an old idea that has run its course. Uh, space is limited, open land is an absolute valued commodity. And what we discovered in every in development, every developer knows, that uh, the economy of building is just less is more. Put more into less space. Leave a smaller human footprint. We think of open space as basically our ocean of wilderness. And we think of village building as islands in that wilderness. So behind me is planning area two. We're, we're sort of looking north from this, this point. And uh, the idea of building 1,200 homes on this piece of sloping ranch land behind us is once again you're you're carving something completely new you're providing you know you're gonna have to extend water services sewer certainly police and fire protection where there is none necessary right now um, it's bringing a whole infrastructure out into the furthest edge of the sphere of influence of the city um, and it's an extremely pro expensive proposition and unnecessary. It's about preserving what we have. We want to create walking environments. We want the village aspect. It's an old American concept where living communities thrive in a designed, well thought out area of retail, shopping, work where you live, shop where you live. This would make the optimum village on this property. My greatest concern about this project is the size of the footprint, even more than the number of units. And I feel that the urban village concept is going to help on many, many fronts. Uh, it's going to reduce traffic. You know, if we have to have some building, then let's do it right. Something that's more efficiently using the land, 
um, leaving more of the land open in a natural, pristine condition um, to create more usable spaces where people can uh, walk to meet their needs, to meet each other. Those are all very good reasons to ask the Irvine Company and the City of Orange to take another look at this and uh, see if there isn't a different way, um, a better way to do it. I think there was an excellent uh, editorial written in 2002 by Shirley Grindle, and I, I do have it, and she basically said, you know, don't stop approving projects until you solve the problems of traffic. So with that, I mean, I think those are wise words. I'm just one voice, so maybe they're listening. We're